Hey guys, uh, this is Matteo and I wanted to show you a project I'm working on. Um, so uh, this is the White Fox as you all know and um, I always wanted to design a, a model that was easy to 3D print but still sturdy and robust. I already tried to uh, 3D print um, some keyboard cases like this one uh, but as you can see it is all bandy and I didn't like it so I abandoned the idea for a moment but I was able to design this one that actually works pretty well uh, the secret is uh, 4 mm uh, switch plate of course for uh, cherry switches we need 1.5 mm so I added these notches here that is where the switch actually snaps in um, also the sides as you can see are um, pretty thick and I added this uh, interlocking system that you sometimes see in woodworking that uh, yeah it works very well it is enough by itself to to keep the, the pieces together. The bottom plate is made of uh, three pieces and uh, uh, the middle one uh, keeps the, the keyboard together. If you add all of the six screws the, the, the case would probably resist a nuclear winter, it's very sturdy. And um, uh, the screws goes in this uh, brass uh, threaded insert and they are really fantastic I use them uh, all the times for uh, 3d um, printed projects it is this little guy here it is an M 2.5 meaning that the screw is 2.5 millimeters and um, yeah it's uh, the, uh, the hole in the in the plastic needs to be very tight but you can help yourself with a, a soldering iron. You put the tip of the iron uh, inside the, the insert and of course you heat up the, the soldering iron and push inside the, the hole in the plastic. Oh, this one of course is the hole for the um, controller. Uh, the case is made for uh, TNC3 um, but I think it should be easy to uh, modify the, the original design to adapt to other controllers. Uh, the controller slides in here and uh, the, the bottom plate has this uh, piece over here that holds the controller in, in place and uh, it's very stable. So the keyboard uh, prints very easily, the only thing that you have to be careful about is the elephant foot effect, uh, meaning that um, the first couple of layers are pressed uh, over the print bed, so they stick bed better on the, on the bed itself, but this also makes them um, slightly uh, bigger than they should. So uh, the switch hole for the for cherry switches must be 14 uh, millimeters, and even a small variation on this side um, would make the the switch uh, not usable. So uh, you can uh, either um, compensate the elephant foot effect on your slicer, or do like I did and. Um, took a, a small file and uh, yeah mm, file all the all the switch holes and as you can see the switch snaps in and it's very stable uh, but if you want you can add a drop of hot glue on the other side of course oh I also printed a couple of feet if you need and um, I didn't put a hole in the in the bottom plate for them, but uh, I think that you can just glue them 
or anyway there's a hole in the, in the foot if you want you can add the threaded insert uh, drill a hole here and uh, yeah and screw the uh, the fit on the bottom plate yeah, very easy I hope you like it and uh, the design is uh, open source so you can download it for free and um, I think you should start printing it um, because in the next couple of weeks uh, I should be able to uh, post a tutorial about hand wiring this little baby. Uh, it will be an, a beginner's level tutorial so even if you never hand wire the keyboard you should be able to follow all the instruction and have a fully working 3D printed white fox.